All right, folks, we're back again with another Puppy 101 video. So we got Miss Briar here, and she's on top of one of the kennels, and we're going to start working with her on getting comfortable being elevated up on her head. And that is going to lead us right into getting her ready for starting some of the trained retrieve stuff. So with her, and one thing that your vet's going to really appreciate too with your puppy, if you do this, is when you got them up on the table, look in their ears. Make sure their ears are all nice and clean. Everything they're doing good. Get something like, make sure you click it, mark the behavior, reward them for what they're doing. So I'm also gonna pick up her feet, look at her feet when, she, when they're up on the table. Make sure their feet are all good. She's not pulling, she's not biting, she's not nipping, she's letting me have her foot. I'm opening up her toes. I know she's licking my arm. Apparently it must taste good. Drop it. I don't know. So that's going to lead us also to touching her underside, lifting her tail, back legs. Pulling a little bit there. There we go. Looking good. So this is going to lead then into our trained retrieve stuff. We're doing that. We're patting her. We're going to start off. We've been doing this a little bit with Briar. So we're going to look at her teeth. Oh, her teeth look very nice. Some nice white shiny pearls. Let her finish eating that. Then we're going to open up the mouth. Through along the inside. Oh, very nice. It's a lot of good contact for them. And then you get to go to the vet. The vet's going to check over your pup. It's going to be really nice when the vet can just do their job, get it done, get it over with. For the dog, it's a lot less hassle and stress on you. It's less stress on the dog when they just cooperate and they just let the vet do what they need to do. One more time in the mouth, say ah, oh, oh, good girl, good, good, good girl. All right, so all this leads right into our trained retrieve stuff, right? I'm opening her mouth, I'm looking at it, looking at her ears and her feet. So now we're gonna start, and she's been doing really good with this. I can put my hand in my mouth, in her mouth. Start with that, drop. So we've already kind of progressed a lot through this with her. She's been doing a very, very good job. If she continues doing good, if I can get three or four good reps in without her nibbling, chomping, putting pressure on my hand, or tonguing it with her tongue trying to push my hand out, um, we might actually see if we go to the wood today or not. So all the wood is is just a dull, and all I'm expecting the dogs to do is hold it in their mouth. good one here. It's going very, very well. I'm not going to push the push the gas too hard with this. So this is strictly moving at the dog's face. Pace. I'm going to look at my fingers here. Drop. Very nice. So she's doing really good. So we've been, like I said, we've been working with it. She's doing a great job. I'm just going to scoot her back a little bit so you can see her. So now we move from our hands, being able to wiggle them. They move in her mouth, the dog is doing fine. They're not chomping, not biting, not trying to tongue it, not trying to spit it out. Right? So then we move on to a wooden dowel. Right? We use a wooden dowel, so during this sometimes it is uncomfortable. You are going to know that if she tries pushing out or anything like that, I am going to push it back in her mouth. At this point, she cannot drop this. She cannot do anything, get this out of her mouth until I tell her to. Which I'm thinking she's just going to want to grab a hold of. It's a good girl. Most of the time they catch on to this pretty soon. So we're going to move through a variety of different things doing this in the retrieving process, right? We're going to start off with a wooden doll. Um, we're not 
I can throw wooden dolls around for our dogs to go to retrieve. So if this does create any sort of shyness or anything that we need to work through, big deal. We don't really care. We do care, however, if it's going to be a bumper or a bird or a shed or whatever it may be. We don't want our dogs to be scared of that item. So we always start with this. And you're going to see, so I will do a video each time we switch an item with Brian and we move on. So you're going to see that we're going to do everything up here. It's going to be up high. It's going to be elevated. It's not necessarily going to be in this exact spot on top of the kennel, but it will be elevated. And then we are going to go back and start moving the floor. When we start moving the floor, we'll cover all that stuff. But we are going to, like I said, go through a variety of different things. So let's see how she does here with this. There's a good girl. <laughs> Got she reached out and grabbed it on her own. I didn't have to put it in her mouth and have to hold her or nothing. So we're going to roll with this and we're going to see if we can get at least one more good rep. If we get one more good one, we're probably going to call it quits for today. Slow, easy, small is going to get you to the end a lot faster than beating a dead horse around when a dog doesn't want to do something. <laughs> good girl. Chomping just a little bit, tongue in it. Drop. You can see I'm not asking for a whole lot. I'm probably getting maybe two seconds worth of holding it. But we're marking the behavior and getting it out right away. Good girl. One more. She's reaching out, she's grabbing it. That's what I want. Get a position, we're gonna open up her shells. Drop. Oh, good girl. There we go. And that's gonna get a jackpot. All kinds of good stuff. So with this, like I said, you don't want to push the gas. We're not asking for a miracle here. We're not trying to run a race. We're going to move at a dog space. And right there, she reached out. She grabbed it on her own, which is amazing. Usually it doesn't happen too often with the wooden doll after getting the hand in there. Sometimes they have to put the wooden doll in and actually hold it inside their mouth. But they, she reached out and like I said, we got three solid reps. I'm good with that. I am more than ecstatic and happy with it. So we are going to move on. We're going to be doing this. And like I said, every time we go to a different object and we move around and we start up to the next thing, we'll do another video so you guys can see how she's doing. So thank you guys for watching. Check us out on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook to keep up with the progress of what we're doing with Miss Fryer.